Good morning, everyone. Namaste. Uh, my name is Gerald Watt. Joining me this morning uh, with me is Stephanie. And so today, uh, we're going to welcome to El Binyasa Full Class. And today will be a soft flow. We'll add a little bit of skill set, maybe arm balance. We'll see how everyone feel or how I feel about it. So uh, before we get started, uh, make sure you practice in a good conscious. Uh, practice safe anytime you feel Fatigue, dizzy, or tired, please come down and rest. Uh, make sure you take good care of yourself. It's before we get started, it's a good time. If you practice with the block, make sure you have a block next to you, a towel, and a water bottle if you need to take a break and a drink. So feel free to take a break as much, many times as you like. And But we're always going to continue with our work here, our flow. And But you can always pause the video. So. Let's all that say, and let's get started. Let's uh, everybody come to seated position, however you like, you know, Sukhasana, hero pose, or you can lay down, whatever you feel like this morning. Just relax your body, close your eyes. We'll keep ourselves a couple minutes here to reconnect with ourselves, to ground ourselves down. Get all the thought, all the dust, all everything in the body is to settle down and settle in. The most important is relax your body. Sit up tall, shoulder away from your ears, spine grow long. And just breathe normal. If you do practice ujjayi breath at home, feel free to do so. Let's begin to check in with our body and our own breath here. Begin to observe link of our inhales and exhale here. Whatever length of your inhale should be the same length as your exhale. Try to find that smooth rhythm, calm breathing. Begin also to take awareness of your body part this morning. See where all your tightness, all your soreness muscle, all your achiness along your shoulder, your neck, your lower back. Take note of that and be mindful when you practice this morning. Wherever you are in the space, slowly make your way back to your body. Allow yourself some of breath here. When you have arrived back to your body, still keep your eye closed here. Let's bring both hands up to your heart center. Bow down to yourself before you practice this morning. Begin setting your intention of your practice.
When you're ready, slowly take a head back to center your spine. Slowly open your eyes. Let's take a big inhale here. Both palms come up, lengthening. Spine scroll along. Palm meet each other up top here. And exhale, bring it back down. We go up one more time. Let's take an inhale here. And this time, exhale, come to a cactus arm. Both elbow down toward the bottom rib cage here. Hold the shoulder down away from your ears. Let's take an inhale, both arms extend up, lengthening palm, meet each other. And exhale, cactus arm one more time. Let's take inhale here. Begin to cross the wrist up top, right over the left. Turn both palms to each other. Good. From here, we're going to begin to lean over to the right side first and press the right hand on top toward the left hand. Open up the left side of your body here first. Lengthen both arms straight. Long here, the spine. Good, from here we're gonna low both arm down to shoulder height first, and then lean a little bit more forward, reach out first, and we're gonna make an arch. Go all the way back to the left side, and slowly bring it up, all the way up top. When you get up top, take the left hand, press into the right hand, get a little bit more length on the right side here. Good, let's lower both arms down halfway to shoulder height first. Reach out, lean forwards, and make a big arch here. Warming up the spine, the shoulder here. Come all the way back up onto the right side. Press the right hand into the left hand. Get a little bit more space on the left side here. One last inhale here and begin to low the both arm down halfway reaching out one last time here and make a big arch all the way to the left side and back up and then when you get up top press the left hand into the right hand one last time here lengthening two more breath here And when you raise, slowly bring the hand and the body back in the center. Take both arm out apart, come out to T arm here. Turn to the right side, both arm open up, drop both hand, left hand on the outside of the right thigh and right hand behind your sacrum here. Look over the right shoulder. A breath here. Good. From here, let's keep the hand where it is. We're just gonna rotate our head back to center to our body of in front of your mat, and then from here you can tilt your head to the left shoulder, stretch out the right side of your neck here. Two more breath here. Good, slowly bring the head back to center. Take both arm up and turn your torso to the front of the mat. Let's take it opposite direction here. Left side, both arm come out on the side of your body. Look over the left shoulder first. Get that nice lubrication of the back of the spine here. Here, let's turn the head toward the front of the mat and tilt the head down to the right shoulder this time. Two more breaths here. And when you
you ready, take the head back to center. Bring both arm back up and rotate your torso to the front of the mat. Let's take a big inhale here, both arm come up. And exhale, turn both thumb down, bring both hand behind the back, interlace the fingers. And begin straight out the arm, reach the knuckle down toward the floor here. Begin to breathe and observe how your shoulders feeling this morning. Good, from here we're gonna rotate, lift the hand off the floor first, rotate your torso to the left side, get a little bit deeper stretch here on the left shoulder. And then from here we're gonna bring the left forearm behind our back and the right, fore, right elbow squeeze into center your spine here. Two more breath here. And when you're ready, turn your torso toward the front of your mat and take both hands back down to center behind your back. And then from here, rotate to the right side. And when you're ready, bring the right forearm this time behind your lower back. Left elbow squeeze in, pull them into center your spine while you're still rotating. Open up that shoulder. Keep your core engaged here. Two more breath here. Good, when you're ready, slowly turn your torso back to front of the mat. Take both hands back behind you. Begin to release the hand and slowly bring both palm up. Inhale, palm, meet each other up top here. And from here, let's begin to work on the wrist here. Begin to rotate the wrist here, whatever direction you like to go first. And slowly bring both arm down toward the earth. Take your time to get there. When you get close to the earth, and we go in opposite direction here, and begin to take the arm back up. Don't forget to breathe. Feel the connection with your breath here. And when you get all the way up, bring the palm towards you one last time. And exhale. Bring them all back down. Good. Should feel nice on his shoulder this morning. And let's work on the hip and hamstring. Let's begin to straight our legs out in front of us. Good. Let's shake it off first. Just to Good. When you're ready, we'll take a wide leg today let's take both legs out wide as can let's make sure you sit up tall if you need to lift your sacrum up or you need to put a block or cushion or towel feel free to do so make sure you have even pressure along both sides of the hip here good from here let's take both arm up interlace the finger here and turn the palm up toward the sky here and begin to link forward four here. Reach out here. Either you can stay here halfway, or you can take the arm all the way down, hand all the way down, if you like. Depend on each individual this morning. So feel free to explore that. Maybe here is good for you. Maybe here is good for you. Maybe here is better for you. So feel free to explore your body. Couple breath here, begin to observe the interior of your legs here, working inside the legs. Good, from here slowly, when you're ready, bring your torso, your arm back up top where we started. From here, we're gonna rotate to the right side, toward the right legs, and then begin to forward fold here. Now we 
work on the back sides of our legs here. Two more breath here. Good, when you're ready, slowly bring your torso back up and rotate your body back to center and then take it over to the left side and begin to slowly descend the arm and the chest down toward the legs here. Either you can rest your hands on the angle or you kind of float it up to engage your core, maybe work on your core a little bit to get them all fired up. Two more breath here. Good, slowly bring your torso back up. And turn the body back to center. And take both hands, come back down to the earth here. Good, let's bring both legs back together first. And maybe shake it off. From here, we're gonna move to a cow face. We work on the hip a little bit here. So let's take with the left heel, left leg under, right leg on top. Either you can have the knee stack over each other or slightly off. If it's too tight for you, you can just uh, release a little bit more out. But if this is good for you, and so let's take both arms down toward the floor here, anger down, allow the hip to release some of the tension first before we move. You can observe here, see how that feel on the right side. If you're ready, let's keep the left hand down. Take the right hand up top, inhale here. Stretch it out, lengthen, get as long as possible here. From here, we're gonna lean forward, forward, forward. We're gonna reach out with your heart, create flat back. And then, if this is good for you, you can stay here or you can take the right hand down to the floor here. Feel a little bit more. Stretch on the right side here. Good, when the hip is already subtle in, we're gonna take left arm up off the floor and bring it forward to get a little bit more deeper here. Two more breath here. Good, from here we're gonna walk right hand first to the right side all the way, all right on corner of your mat. And then left hand follow. Get a little bit deeper on your glute here on the back side of your hip. Make sure you relax your legs here. We work on the outside of the hip, not on the legs here. Make sure you relax your body. Two more breaths here. Good, from here, left hand back to center, right hand follow, and then slowly walk them back into your body. Bring your torso back up. From here, left hand grab outside the left, right foot, begin to straight out the legs in front of you. And when you're ready, take the right arm out and open up the heart, open up the chest here, press the feet into the hand and laying it out through your right fingertip here. Work on a little bit on the IT band here to release some of the tension. Good, from here let's rotate your torso back to the front of the mat and bring the right foot back down where we started. And then set both hands back down along the side of the body. 
Let's bend the left elbow, left hand stay down, take right arm up. Let's get the side of the right side of the body. Good, slowly bring your torso back, straight out your left arm and right hand come down to it. Good, let's switch side. Let's take the right legs out, left legs out. And then right heel come in. Left knee stack on top of the right knee. Sit up tall first. Both hand along the side of your body just to get your hips to settle in here. Couple breath here first. When you're ready, left hand go up first. Right hand anchor down to the floor. Lengthen the spine, long arm is straight and begin to tilt forward and slowly bring your torso on to the legs and arm and hand reach forward, hand come down to the floor. Also when you're ready, you get a little bit deeper here, take the right arm up and over the body slowly bring it down toward the front and relax your necks let your necks hang between your arms if that possible for you good from here let's take left hand walk to the left side Right hand follow when you're ready. Get a little bit deeper stretch here. On the back side of your glute here. Two more breath here. Let's walk the right hand back to center first. Left hand follow. And then slowly bring your torso back up top. Good. Right hand grab outside your left foot. Begin to straight out the legs and the arm. And when you're ready, take the left arm out and rotate your spine. Look over your left thumb, if that possible. Or look to the side of your, your mat, also fine. Two more breath here. Good, from here let's rotate the torso toward the front of the mat and bring the, bend the legs and bring the legs back down. Left hand come down, right hand come down, left foot come down. Good, right hand anchor down this time to the floor, bend the right elbow, left arm go up, lean over. To the right side. Get long arms straight, lengthen out. Feel the energy travel out through your left fingertip here. One last inhale here. And slowly bring your torso back up, straight out the arm. And left hand come down to earth here. Good, let's take both legs back out the front. Let's shake it off. Finish with the hip and hamstring here. So from here, let's, uh, when you're ready, we make our way down on our back. We'll work on our core a little bit this morning. So let's get our back on the floor here. Let's hug both knees into the chest first, just to get the spine. Warming up, lower back here. You can rock side to side if you like. Good, from here let's set both feet down to the floor first. Let's take left leg up toward the sky. Right leg, begin to straight out. Press the heel away from your body. From here, lift your torso up. Bring both hand outside of your left leg. From here, we're gonna low left leg to meet right leg. That's one, up, down, two, up, 
three, up, four, up, five, up, six, seven, and eight. Two more on this side. Nine, one last one. Ten, good. And hug both knees into the chest. Bring the head back down to the mat here. Let's set both feet back down first. This time, right leg to go up toward the sky. Left leg, heel press away from the body. Both arms come out to the side. Lift your chest off the floor. Right leg come meet left. That's one. Up, two, up, three, up, four, five. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one last one, ten. Good, hug both knees into the chest here. Rock side to side, you like. Good, let's rock forward and backward. And slowly make your way up to the seating position. We come to downward facing dog. Our first dog, let's meet there. Take the leg back. Make sure your feet hip distance apart. Hand shoulder width. Palm is root down. Fingers spread wide. You can pedal your feet for your first dog. Get your hip moving. Your heel reach to the floor. Bend one leg. Straight out, other leg, back and forth here. Good, from down dog here, let's shift forward, shoulder over the wrist, high plank. Low both knee down to the floor first, and slowly descend your chest down, elbow tucked in. Let's get all the way down this morning. Good, we're going to start with the Y arm, low cobra here. Let's take both arms out, slightly widen in the shoulder, out off the mat here. Maybe a little bit forward in front of the, sh the shoulder. Top the feet, press down. When you're ready, lift the chest off the floor here. Good, from here we're gonna Look over the right shoulder first, and we're going to tip the shoulder head of the left side down toward the mat, and then slowly look through your right armpit. Good. Slowly come back up. Inhale. Let's switch side. Look over your left shoulder, and through your left armpit. Good. Slowly come back. One more round just like that. Inhale. And exhale, tip the left shoulder down. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, the right shoulder down. And slowly come back up in the center. And slowly lower everything down. Release the hand. Can rest for maybe three breaths here. Can rest one cheek on the floor here. Good. From here, let's bring both hands back to low bottom rib cage. Top the feet, press down, lift the chest up, push yourself up. Let's send the hip back down here for child pose. Open up the knee a little bit wider and get long on your lower back here. Good. From here, elbow down. Let's come up first. Let's take, drop both elbows down. We're going to move into dolphin pose here. Tuck the toes under. When you're ready, lift both knees off the floor here. Try to get the heel toward the bottom of the mat. You can walk the feet in just slightly. Stretch it out, the shoulder, the lower back here. 
Good, from here, from Dolphin, is an option for you to do arm balance here. From here, you bend both legs first, walk the left knee into the left tricep, set the left foot down first, walk the right knee to the right tricep, set your foot down. From here, lean forward first, and then lift left foot, right foot follow. If this too much, just rest your forehead down to the floor or take the feet back down. When you're ready, come back down and come to Malasana. Walk the hand back. Feet open. Let's take both hands into heart center. Press the elbow into the knee here. Couple breath here. Good, let's take both hands down to the floor. Begin to straight our leg here. Slowly rise up, halfway hard forward, lengthen. Let's exhale forward, fold here. Good, slowly rise up, press down to both feet, bend both legs. Inhale, rise up. Palm each other up top. Exhale, hand back to the heart center. Good. Let's warm it up with a Saranama Scar B this morning. When you're ready, hand to the heart. Let's take an inhale, Utkatasana. Sit it down, arm up. Exhale, forward fold here. Inhale, come up halfway, heart forward. Exhale, step back. Chaturanga Dandasana, take your time to get there. Up dog, downwards facing dog. Right legs go up. Step in between your hand. Virasana one, back heels down. Rise up, palm meet each other. And exhale, hand back down. Step back three like a dog. Vinyasa down. And switch side, left legs go up. Step in between your hands, back heels down. Rise up, warrior one. And exhale, hand come back down. Step back three like a dog. And vinyasa down. And down dog we meet. Four breaths we hold here. It's good time to check in with your breath, your body. See how you're feeling. What's going through your head at the moment. Look between your hands, bend both knees. Walk or jump, both feet up to your hand. Come up halfway, heart forward, lengthen. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, Samasthi. One more round, just like that. When you're ready, inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, jump or step back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Up dog. Downward facing dog. Right legs go up. Step in between your hand. Back heels down. Warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, come back down. Three-legged dog, Chaturanga Dandasana. Step back. Left legs go up. Step in between your hand. Back heels down, warrior one, left side. Hand come back down. Three-legged dog, Chaturanga. Up dog. And downwards facing dog, we meet. Four breath here. Good, from here, let's begin our flow here. Right legs go up. Knee to the right elbow first. Good, from here, we're gonna take the right foot, we're gonna step it outside the right hand today. Gonna set it up for lizard pose. Keep the back leg straight. 
Take the right hand, bring it out in front of you, and begin to lean in to your right hand a little bit here, reaching out. If you want to go deeper, you can drop the elbow down, but you don't have to. I'm going to stay up this morning for me. Two more breaths here. Make sure the back heel is pressed away from the body. Feel the stretch on the back leg and the front leg. From here, let's drop the left knee down to the floor. Bring the heel up toward your sacrum. Right hand, right thumbs down. Bring around, grab top of your right foot, and look up. Or look to the side. Two more breath here. Good. Slowly release the foot from the hand. Bring the right hand back down inside the right foot. From here, lift the left knee off the floor first. Spin the back heel down first and come to pyramid straight out the front leg while both hands inside the legs here. You have options to stay here or you want to go a little bit more outside of your leg to stretch. You can bring right hand outside and left hand follow here. Just get a little bit deeper onto your IT band here. And a little bit of your angle stretch here. Good. Let's bring left hand back, right hand back. From here, let's bend the front leg, back heels up. We're going to set it up for crescent. When you're ready, slowly rise up as a crescent. You have option, back leg can bend or straight, depending how you feel. But make sure shoulders stack over the hip, knee stack over the ankle here. Knee point to the second toe here. Let's bring both hands together, interlace all the finger except your index finger, your psycho finger here. From here, lean and out forward, bring your torso toward your right thigh here. Come back up, inhale here. One more time, just like that. Exhale, lower it down. And slowly bring it back up one more time. And this time, lean now one last time. And then this time, drop both arms outside your right thigh here. Good. From here, let's undo the finger. You have option here. You can either stay where you are here or you can open the arm up. Two more breaths here. Let's bring both hands back down. Bring it up to and pray position here. Twist, maybe two breaths. Hold here. Good. From here, let's take the elbow off the thigh. Rotate your body back. Good. From here, we're going to go to extend side triangle here. Let's take both hands down to the floor first. Spin the back heel down to the mat. Let's take the right hand outside of the right foot. Leave it there. And then take left arm up today. Left hand come down slightly in front of the left or right foot. We're going to move to a twist half moon. So let's spin the back heel up first. Bend the front knee. Walk the feet up, back leg up, right hand go up, left hand stay down. Heel press away from your body.
From here, we're going to move into tree pose here, Rikshasana. So when you're ready, bring left knee in to your body first. Begin to bend the front leg and slowly stand up. Take both arm up, bring the leg into the right thigh. Hand can be together or cactus, whatever tree you want to be this morning. Meg is your tree. Two more breaths here. When you're ready, hand back to heart center. From here, we're going to step the left foot. Y is all the way out to the edge of the mat here. Come wide legged. The feet a little bit slightly wide in the hip. We're going to come to Utkatasana here, Y leg Utkatasana. When you're ready, set your sacrum down. Both arms come up. From here, we're going to slowly lower ourselves down to Malasana here. Both hands back to the heart center. So you have option, you can do the crow or you can just stay here. If you're going to do crow, bring both hands back down to the floor. Hug both legs into your tricep, lean forward slightly first. And put a lot of weight onto your hands and slowly lift one heel off the floor. Another heel follow, see how that feels. If you're not staying in the crow, stay in Malasana. This is also work this morning, depend how you feel. So you're in the crow, you have option to come back down, one leg at a time, or one feet at a time. Or if you feel sassy this morning, you can either jump back to Chaturanga, or you come down one leg at a time and step back to Chaturanga. And lower yourself down up dog and downwards facing dog let's go on the left side left legs up toward the sky knee to the elbow and set your left foot outside your left hand Come to lizard, left hand go forward, lengthen. You can either drop your elbow down if you like, feel a little bit deeper stretch. I'm gonna stay up for me this morning. Let's drop the right knee down toward the floor, bring the right heel up. Left hand go up and over, reach the top of your right foot. Turn your torso up. Slow let go the foot from the hand. Bring the right hand back inside. Left hand bring inside the left foot here. Bring the toe down, the back toe. Lift the right knee off the floor. Come to pyramid, straight the front legs out. Drop the back heel down if you can. If that's too difficult, you can just lift the front, all five toes in the front foot to help to bring the back heel down. Again, if you want to go deeper, walk both hands out to the left side of the, of the foot here. Left foot, get a little bit stretch. Your IT band, your ankle here. And slowly walk the hand back onto the mat. Again, crescent pose, bend the front leg first, back heel is up, and slowly bring both arms up. Inhale, both hands come together, interlace the finger, lean forward halfway. Back heel press, back leg is straight, inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower back down. 
Get your torso all the way close to your thigh. Inhale, come back up. One more time, lower down halfway. This time, drop both arm outside the left thigh here. Let go all the fingers, undo them. Open the left arm up as an option. Let's bring both hands back into pray here. Twist, pray, crescent. Elbow up. Two more breath here. Let's rotate a torso down toward the front of the mat. Take both hands back down to the floor first. Reframe your foot with your hands. Spin the back heel down first. Left hand stay outside, left foot. Right arm come up. Revolving half moon next. Right hand come down in front, the right foot. And spin the back heel. Bend the back leg and step up. Left hand go up, right hand stay down. Back heel is pressed away from the body. Lift the back leg up a little bit more. Make sure them parallel with the floor. Tree pose from here. Bend the front legs. Knee into the chest first and slowly stand up. Arm come up. Right foot inside the left thigh. Two more breath here. Good. When you're ready, slowly take the foot off the left legs and set them down all the way on the edge of the mat. From here, Y leg Utkatasana, when you're ready, lower down. And slowly descend down to Malasana. Again, you can stay here if you choose. If you want to go to crow, you begin to on your crow. So put both hands down to the floor, hug both knee into the arms, lean forward. Take the foot off one at a time. Two more breath here on your crow. And either jump back or set your foot back down. And step one leg at a time back to high plank, lower down chaturanga, up dog when you're ready. Downward facing dog. Good, let's drop both knee down to the floor here. Come to our end of our session here, slowly getting there. Let's cross the legs behind, set the heel, set the butt down toward the heel here, and take both legs out in front. We do a reverse prank. So let's take both hands, bring it along the outside of your sacrum here. From here, lift your Hip off the floor, point all the toe toward the mat, and lift your torso, your hip up, make it flat, open up the chest, open up the front of your body here. Good, slowly set it back down. Good. From here, let's just lay down onto the floor here. Let's do one bridge pose here. Let's bring both legs up. Make sure feet hip distance apart here. Check with your fingertip, your metal fingertips. You can reach your heel. 
If you have everything in a position, if you're ready, lift the hip off the floor, press the hand down to the floor. From here, you can begin to interlace your hands or your fingers, walk the shoulder underneath your body slightly, press down through your forearm, knee track straight to the second toe, lift the hip a little bit higher here. Two more breaths here. Good. When you're ready, slowly, if you have your hand in place, so let go of the hands first and bring your sacrum back down to the floor. Begin to straight out both legs. Come to your last final pose of the day. Shavasana. Feet open up to the side, palm open up to the sky, eye close, relax your brain, relax your face, relax your body. Soften your breath here. Allow your body to get heavy. At home, please feel free to stay as long as you like in the studio here. We uh, come to the end of our session here. I'm gonna make my way up by rolling over to the, my right side, my body first. And then slowly bring myself up to a seating position. Let's close down our eyes one last time together here. Bring both hands up to your heart center. Bow down to your own self after you practice here. Thank you for everyone for practicing with us this morning. Thank you for being patient and being kind and being loved. Thank you for being open-minded. And the most important, thank you for let's both of us be in your journey this morning. Please stay safe and stay healthy and stay patient. Namaste.